What up guys, I'm Jamie with Shine Guys here in Salt Lake City. I actually got something cool that I'm gonna go ahead and go over with you. I had a customer uh, drop off a car that went to, I guess the detail, we don't know who did it. But anyways, it has swirls on it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take those out. Like all the waves? I can see them. So it looks like it's just in this corner, maybe. Can't really tell. Um, but anyways. Swirls on black paint swirl though. Swirl on black paint. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, open it, do a quick wash, um, and then show you what, I, what we gotta do. All right guys, so here's the, here's the detail cart. You got your good towels. These are just some Kirkland cheaper towels and you got your plush high GSM towels, easy for compounding. Polisher Rupes, um, I got um, OP Owner's Pride um, pads. Well, you could, this process you can do with, it, it, this isn't specific to any type of product here. You can, this goes across the board um, when you're taking out any type of swirls. Obviously, you want it centered. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, DA Fine uh, Rupes. And anyways, let's look at these, uh, let's look at these swirls. So obviously the paint in the shop looks really good, you know, in most cases. And then you look at it and then there's the go ahead, you can see the rotary tracks, the swirl marks. Anyways, they're all over, but for video sakes, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this panel, probably just this, this whole back end. Anyways, all right, good light. Um, these Astro lights are really good. Uh, if you wanna get the step above these, you can get those scan grips, um, but these do the job. All right, so right, this is a fresh pad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of use a lot more compound or a lot more uh, compound or polish. Go ahead and get it into, get it deep into there. All of, anytime when I'm, before I prime, I like to go ahead and um, run, it on, run it on a spot on the pad, on the actual panel. So it gets evenly distributed and then I'll go ahead and put more on there. I'm gonna go ahead and, just a little, just quick, nothing big. I just wanna get it. I just want to even all around the whole pad. So this is pretty aggressive. So most likely this is going to haze up the panel and I'm going to go have do a, a quick two step, but I want aggressive. So I want to dig these out, these swirls out, you know, really easy. All right, let's go. So again, flat as you can. If you do have a mini, use that it's easier access, but I'm really comfortable with this tool. So I'm going to use this one. All right, so I just, that's just kind of a prime pass. So I just got the compound on the actual panel. This is a bigger area. Most people would want you to do, you know, a two by two, you know, up and down, cross hatch patterns on there, but we're gonna do the faster way. Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit more compound, actually a lot more compound to make sure it's deep in there, inside your pad. And that's because it's a new pad, yeah? New pad, you just want it want it fully covers okay so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two full passes of cross hatch like you're sanding to make it easy so 50 50 you can do that as well but how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do cross hatch because I'm digging I'm scrubbing the actual paint I want to get all these uh, all these swirls out Sweet. So that that's uh, call it a, just a fast pass. Nothing crazy. We're just getting the swirls out. We're not taking out the deeper imperfections in the paint. All right, they're still kind of there, but I'm gonna go ahead and polish it a little bit more. All right guys, so we just finished doing that, that one step and I would say I probably went like three good passes on there. I'm not really doing a, a full scratch removal on this. I just want to take off the swirls. So this is this IPA. So this is a uh, wax and grease paint prep. I'm gonna wipe it down to make sure we got off all of the swirls. All right, well you could see
that the swirls are gone. There is still some haze left over from, from that pad, which you probably cleared up with one more, one more pass. The key is when you're doing something like this, you all, after you're done polishing, you wanna paint prep it because even if they say it doesn't have fillers or you don't wanna just mask them because you polish this with one step and you just drove off, you can come back the next day when, when everything settles and they'll be back all of the, so be careful if you're using like an all-in-one polish or something like that. You don't, you wanna use something that doesn't really have them fillers in there. So once you got your process down, once you got that process down, you can really knock out this whole car pretty quick. You have a couple hours. And then this process that you're doing, on a difficulty from amateur to expert, how would you rate it? Like how, how experienced should you be for something like this? This is probably, um, amateur yeah it, most most paint corrections is the time thing you could do you know if you're just not introducing sandpaper or the rotary tool it's you know you pretty much could be doing it in, you know in a week all right guys so we just finished this up um i'm gonna go ahead and put a light on it so you know we obviously paint prepped it um we did just a, I would say just a one step, nothing crazy. We're just getting swirls out, imperfections. You know, we're not worried about that. We just want to take the swirls out of the paint. Like, yeah, there's some deeper scratches still in there, but the actual swirls, the swirls are gone. All right, you guys, so the remedy to get out some quick swirls, uh, rotary tracks, whatever you want to call them, microfiber, a medium, a medium cut microfiber. Uh, we use the uh, Rupes DA Fine. This is, we really like this low, low dusting on there. Good working time. This is a great product. And this is a good lineup to have. Well, anyways, guys, I'm Jamie with Shine Guys. Holler at me, we're out here, we're working. Like us, subscribe, let me know what else you guys want to know. Bam.